It's my family. It's the place where I met God. It's my home. It's where God has planted me. I matured here. It's my work. It's my mission. It's where God literally gave me a family. It's my community. And this year, our community completes 40 years. Throughout our history, we saw the Lord forming a people on the move, as in a great procession of witnesses of the risen One. What marvelous deeds the Lord has done for us and through us. Consider from this day on, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider, is there any seed left in the barn? Do the vine, the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree still yield nothing? From this day on, I will bless you. With this word, it became even clearer to us the inspiration of the Lord to build the Church of the Risen Christ who passed through the cross here, in the heart of Diaconia, where many men and women from all over the world would be able to come and have their experience of this charism. But how could we build a church in the midst of so many challenges that we, as a community, and the whole world were going through, including financial challenges? We were invited to take a leap of faith, and so we started the construction of this church, and we were surprised by the generosity and offerings of many people who showed us a sign of God's providence. So we begin to see the Church of the Risen Christ who passed through the cross, this prophecy becoming a reality, inch by inch, stone by stone, beam after beam, door after door, stained glass after stained glass, and thus, we saw the Church of the Risen Christ who passed through the cross taking shape. Many thanks to you who have collaborated with us. For those who will collaborate and to you who will continue to collaborate on this new phase of the construction of our church. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity, for your proof of love for God in this new phase of the Church of the Risen Christ who passed through the cross. We are starting a new phase. Now we need to place in the presbytery dignified furniture for this church. Each chapel with its own identity, its own special place, so that each person can have a unique experience and in each chapel, the one for the Blessed Sacrament, one for the Mother of God, and the Reconciliation one. The Church's sound system for the reading of the Word of God, for all the praise and worship aspects and expressions of hymns and joy, the surroundings of the Church so that the people who approach this holy ground can walk towards the Church's doors and thus have an experience with the risen Christ who passed through the cross. In this commemorative year of the 40th anniversary of Shalom Catholic Community, we would like to invite you to take a new step of faith, a step of gratitude in view of the construction of the Church of the Risen Christ who passed through the cross. Through this collection, we want your support to help this work to continue. How many deeds has the Lord accomplished in our midst, in our favor? Let's give back to him with gratitude.
Nosso coração só pode ter gratidão. Our hearts can only have gratitude to the Lord. Eternal gratitude and unite all our being in order to respond to this perfect love with which He loves us. Join us in this procession. Música